Hi, it's Marisa, your home educator coach with Alternative Education at Home. And you know, you're all probably overwhelmed again now that you've come back from the convention and you're wondering, okay, now what do I do with all this stuff that I bought? Here's a tip that you can use. Start putting all the curriculum or all the books on the ground. Just, just spread them out on your floor. And then, depending on how many children you have, you put all the books that you bought for that particular child in a designated box. So just put like boxes on the floor. Um, you know, you could just mark them with tape so that there's boxes um, designated for each child. Then as you've stacked all the books in the appropriated or designated box for each of your child, and maybe you have uh, a stack of books that you want to use for all the kids. Okay, put those books in front of you so you know that, okay, I'm going to use these books for all three kids or four kids or seven kids. Um, and then have on a piece of paper all the subjects that you're going to cover for each child based on the stuff that you have in their box. And so if you have history, cover history. If you have math, write that down. And then pick up the book and skim through it. Skim through the table of contents because that gives you a summary of what is inside the book. And then have your child sit right next to you and discuss with your child, hey, what are some of the things you want to learn? You know, if you're picking up a history book, there's probably different facets of history that they could learn. Ask them what they want to learn. Is it the Revolutionary War? Is it the Civil War? Is it World War II? I mean, whatever they want to learn. Or maybe they would rather cover a person who was involved in that particular war. For instance, Abraham Lincoln during the Civil War. Maybe he or she is more interested in Abraham Lincoln than the actual war itself. But you can teach the Civil War through that person, through that biography. It's really important that you ask your child to get involved with you as you're creating lesson plans and as you're coming up with ideas. Have that conversation all the time. What do they want to learn? What do they want to study? It makes learning so much more fun. And then you get to be really creative because you're thinking about how am I going to teach this um, specifically for my child in the way he or she learns. If you want, you can set aside some of the stuff that you've been working on that hasn't really worked. And maybe you get excited about the curriculum or the books that you just bought. And it's okay if you spend the next couple of weeks just focusing in on those books that you just bought because it's exciting. You don't have to finish the book from cover to cover. You don't even have to start on page one. You can start at page 187 if you want. That's the beauty of homeschooling. You can teach however you want to teach, whatever works best for you and your children. Don't be a slave to this curriculum you just bought. You know, let it serve you, not you serve it. And if you didn't buy curriculum for whatever reason, um, I hope that the convention gives you some ideas on what you can do or implement. Maybe you learned some things in the workshops and don't forget to write them down. You know, some really key points that you're going to do differently from now on. You know, there's a lot when you go to a convention. There are tons of workshops, tons of speakers, tons of information, and it's hard to sort it all out and to know, what am I going to follow? You know what you follow is your heart. And then you listen to your children. You listen to their wants and their needs. You listen to what they're interested in. And you take that curriculum or your books or anything that you have that's educational and you let it work around your child's interests. That's the best way to learn. That makes it more exciting. It becomes a lot more fun. And I bet you're going to get a lot more cooperation and participation when you are really focused in on what the child wants to study. You know, I homeschooled for the last 15 years, and if there was a do-over, it would be to have a lot more fun with my kids. You know, I would have done a lot less worksheets and um, textbook. I would have done more activities with the children based around their interests. You know, I just would have had a lot more fun. That's all. Because, you know, in the end, that's all they remember. 
I mean, I ask my kids all the time, I'm like, what do you remember about us homeschooling? And they'll always, always talk about the fun activities, the field trips, um, the stuff that they made, the time when we were with other homeschool friends. And I know that true learning also happened when they were having fun. So I hope you will schedule a coaching session with me, a free one hour coaching session, and just jot down any questions or problems that you might have, and let's mastermind, and, and let's help come up with some solutions to these problems. And I know that between the two of us, we can work something out just like that. So uh, getting those questions answered for me is so important if we're to move forward in our homeschooling journey. You know, knowledge is power. And so the more knowledge you have, the easier it becomes and the more confidence you can have as you homeschool. So go ahead and schedule a session, a free one hour coaching session with me. I'd love to help you in any way I can. And remember, been there, done it, and I know you can too.